What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Two Player Meals. Uh, I'm gonna start that over. What's going on YouTube? Hey, I ain't did an intro in so long, but you feel me? We just gone. We y'all gotta bear with me, bro. I, I, I ain't been, I ain't been on, I ain't been on the tube in a while, man. No cap. But listen though, it's your boy Two Player Meals. We back at it again. Well. Not really back at it again, because I've been gone for a minute. But this, like, the update, you feel me? I'm doing a Q&A right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just not getting back in the, you know what I'm saying, the swing. I just, I got to update y'all, because, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been, it's been a lot going on. I've been gone for a whole year. Really about to be two years. I ain't really posting this, like, 2020. But we ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to get into that for real. We just gonna get straight into the video, man. I told some I told some people to ask me some questions on the ground. You know what I'm saying? For my QA. And that's what I'm about to do. So yeah. So man. Going through the questions now. You feel me? Alright, so question number wow, this is a great way to start the uh, you feel me the video. Somebody asked this first. That's crazy. Ain't that guy? See how guy work? Somebody said, Why did you take a break from YouTube? Alright, so I took a break because I needed a camera. I felt like I just, I wasn't prepared. Like I had started doing a lot and then it got like to be too much and then I couldn't handle it. Like I was doing everything off my phone. I ain't really had nowhere to edit. I was doing everything off iMovie. I was losing storage. I had to get a new phone. It was a whole bunch of stuff. So I just took a break until I could, you know what I'm saying, prepare for really leveling up with this YouTube shit, you feel me? So I got a new laptop, a new phone, and then I got blessed with the camera. My dad bought me a camera. So like now I'm back, like full, like ain't no more breaks. I'ma try not to have any more breaks, you feel me? I'm trying to hit this thing like in the, in the forehead for sure, like trying to go crazy. No breaks, no nothing, you hear me? So yeah, my mama's talking really, really loud right now, no cap. And I will mop the ocean before I tell her to quiet down. I sweep all the sand off the beach before I tell her to be quiet. So y'all just gonna have to hear her. I'm gonna try to put some music behind this. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But y'all. Yeah, but that's why I took a break from YouTube. I feel like I, I, I was going through a lot. I had to get myself back in school. But now I'm back in school. So you feel me? Everything is flowing how it's supposed to. Question number two. What's your biggest fear? Um, my biggest fear, my biggest fear is dying because I'm not done here on earth. Like, I always tell people, they be like, oh, why are you scared of death? Like, I don't care. Like, after you die, that's it. You feel me? I'm not done here. I ain't get my mama out of this crib yet. I ain't, you feel me? get her a new whip like you know what i'm saying i ain't did stuff that i want to do like i ain't got my dad anything like i ain't you know what i'm saying i want, I got stuff i gotta do even for me not even stuff i want to do for other people like so if i die i can't do none of that so i gotta you feel me that's my biggest fear i don't care i don't care people be like you should be scared of death i'm scared of dying because i'm not done i got too much stuff planned question number three What's your favorite soda? I'm drinking it right now. Actually, well, it's in a Bojangles cup. But my favorite soda is Cheerwine. I'm from North Carolina, so... If you're from North Carolina, you probably done had or done seen or you probably like Cheerwine, too. Like, Cheerwine is a fire head, so it's like black cherry, I think. I don't even know what really flavor it is, for real. Really, honestly, truly. It's like a... It's like a, I don't know. <laughs> Next question. It's my favorite soda. Though. Favorite soda? Chill one. Um, what's your favorite food spot in Charlotte? Um, let's say, I can't name somewhere that, that, that they got it everywhere. I gotta name something that's like only in Charlotte. So I'm gonna say Chicken King. That fish, that fried fish be busting on my soul. That fried fish be going crazy. She be going bonkers. She be going crazy. She be going bonkers. She be going crazy. She be going bonkers. Chicken King, the fried white and plate, 
french fries, you feel me? Orange fennel, I'm going crazy. I'm devouring the whole plate. The whole plate is getting eight for sure. Next question. Um, what's your what's your favorite thing about A and M? If you don't know, I go to Alabama A and M University. That's my school. Uh, my favorite thing about A and M, I say, how like it's clicked up. Everywhere is clicked up though. But you feel me? I my favorite part is, it's 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 real family oriented. I ain't gonna cap like everybody know everybody. It's like if you, it's really hard to like. If you come and you don't make no friends, it's your fault. Cause like it's hella people, like everybody like and everybody know everybody. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like it's really hard to not have friends. Like, yeah, people be weird, some people be fake, but you gonna find a good few solid ones. You don't need a lot of people in your circle anyway, if you already ain't got people back home, you feel me? But you gonna find some solid folks. Like it's some real solid people at this school. And and them got some talent, bro. Like and them got talent, like real talent, like industry worthy, blowing up viral worthy talent. And I'm I'm looking to be a part of, you know, showing that to the world. So I got a lot of stuff coming. Yeah, that's my favorite thing about A and M. Next question. Don't 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 I had a brain fart. My fault. Uh biggest lesson learned throughout life. My biggest lesson learned throughout life so far because I ain't lived my whole life yet. I'ma say my biggest lesson is I just learned to stop procrastinating like. But I still procrastinate a lot. But I do it a lot less than I used to. But I feel like that's one of the biggest lessons I learned. Um I learned you can't trust everybody in life. I I learned you can't trust a lot of people. A lot of people Will smile in your face, but whole time, you know what I'm saying? Backstabbers, no cap, no cap. They smile in your face, whole time you wanna backstabbers, backstab. There's some backstabbers in the world. You better watch out, watch out for the backstabbers, no cap. Next question: What's a quote that has stuck with you since you've heard it? Um. Let me see. Let me see. Because I tweeted it. And it's very simple. And you might even laugh. And I'm not even joking. Like, if my mama see this, she going to be like, what the hell? Like, why would you say it? But I just feel like it's so true that you got to, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta fuck with the quote. Like, you have to fuck with the quote. Like, my, you know what I'm saying? But in the meaning between time, take a sip of some water. How y'all doing? How y'all been? You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Lil' Key, Free Gunner, Free free Thug. Um, yeah. Really am trying to find a quote. And it's so far down my tweet so much. I'll be tweaking. Oh, man. Um, I'm finna just Google it. I found it. Alright. So the quote is, Today you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. And it stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's by Dr. Seuss, by the way. If you can't tell, it's real simple. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no hard quote, but it just stuck with me because... People be trying to be other, like, people be not trying to be themselves. Like, how can you live your life not trying to be you? You, you. Like, nobody else can be you. Like, literally, like, you're the only you. And it sounds so simple and it sounds so like, what is he talking about? But, like, if you really sit and think about it, you the only you in the world. It's nobody else. That's you. They, somebody might have the same name. You feel me? Might be the same complexion, but they not you. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't have the same exact heart. Like, you feel me? Like, they don't have the same exact brain. They don't think about the same. You know what I'm saying? 
We all come from the same, but we all different. So, yeah. It's a quote that really stuck with me. I can't lie. And I feel like it's going to stick with me for a long time. For real. No cap. Next question. Any regrets? Um, What's one thing I regret? I regret not believing in myself earlier than I did. Like I've always believed in myself, but it was like, it grew more when I got older. Like I feel like, cause if you go search my full name, I'm not finna say it, but if you go search my full name, you gonna see like old ass YouTube videos of me been trying to like, been trying to get on YouTube, like been trying to pop. You gonna see like me talking crazy. I don't even know what I was talking about. I'm 9, 10, 11 years old. Like I, sh I feel like I should have kept going though. I shouldn't have paused. Like I should have just kept going with whatever I had. Like just kept going because I probably would have been went. You know what I'm saying? I probably would have been up by now. But everything happened for a reason, and I'm doing okay. So I ain't gonna complain. But that's probably one of my biggest regrets. Another regret. I don't really regret, I ain't gonna say one of my regrets. I don't really like the word regret though, because I don't really regret nothing. I feel like everything happened for a reason, but I guess if I could go back and change something, that would be that. That's it. Um, major goal in life, I wanna, one of my major goals, I'm buy my mama a house, for sure. Off the rip, buy my mama a crib, for sure. Make sure she's great. You know what I'm saying? Another major goal, I say, is I want to host a huge award show and I know I just got back on YouTube so I got to update y'all on my life but I done started hosting for real like I host events I host you know what I'm saying I'm gonna start vlogging events I get booked for all types of stuff I got a lot of content coming on this page but yeah like I want to host like a huge award show like Soul Train Awards or how Chris Rock just hosted the the Oscars, I don't want to get slapped, but you feel me? <laughs> and saying <laughs> I want to get slapped, but I do want to host something like that. BT Awards, holla at me, you know what I'm saying? Nickelodeon Choice Awards, whatever, I don't care. Holla at me, you know what I'm saying? I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. But nah, yeah, that's a major goal I got. Um, next question. What advice would you give an upcoming influencer? I'm an upcoming influencer myself, but I will just say to stay consistent and don't give up. It's going to be like cloudy at first. It's going to be like, what am I doing this for? Nobody's watching me. But sooner or later, if you keep on, somebody going to see it. Like it's going to catch fire somewhere, somehow, some way. Feel me? All that. Next question. How you get the name? How did I get the name Two Player Meals? All right, so listen, it's a story. I'm sending, I'm, we doing DoorDash. I'm sending my partner Donovan Carr, and it's me, Donovan, and Akari with kids. I'm sorry, I didn't want to air out your real name. I don't care though, honestly. Um, It's my sister and my brother. We sit in the car, we used to do DoorDash together. You feel me? We'll, we'll, do DoorDash on his phone at the end of the night, you know what I'm saying? We'll be doing all these orders at the end of the night. We'll split the money three ways because we ain't had no job. It's like Christmas break 2020. Like It's like when COVID is still heavy and strong, like the fall of 2020, like when COVID had first hit for real. So we're doing DoorDash, everybody ordering DoorDash because nobody's eating inside. So we we'll literally do DoorDash, split the money three ways, and that would be that. And... She started playing this song. We listening to the art. She started playing. I'm too playing for it. I'm too playing for it. It's that dope boy. It's by Dope Boy and Gunner. Free Gunner, man. Damn. But yeah. And I'm thinking like, okay. I like this. Because my name before was Mills Dalit. If you knew me then, it was Mills Dalit. And I went. I can't. I, 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 I can't be Mills Dalit no more. I, just, I had to change. I had to change it up. Because it was just like, it was getting old. And yeah. So, you feel me? The song playing, I'm like, to play a, like, 
I been saying player stuff like, oh yeah, that's player. Like I see them shoot, yeah, them player. Like, you know what I'm saying? Dude opened up with a lady that player. Like I was saying it, not really to everybody, but you know what I'm saying? I used to say it like that was a part, of, it was it was becoming a part of my lingo. So when I heard the song, I'm like, I need to tell you my Instagram name. Two player meals. Feel me? I just changed a T O O to a two. And that was that. Um, yeah, that's how I got the name Two Player Meals, man, from a song, from a Gunner song. So I appreciate you, Gunner. You know what I'm saying? Before you were saying Pushing P, though, you know what I'm saying? It's really dope, boy. But before you were saying Pushing P, you know what I'm saying? I had just heard a song and then it was already part of my lingo. So I just merged it together and then bam. That was like, yeah, that was like 2020 when I changed the name. Like, in the 2019, beginning of 2020 when I changed my name. It's been up ever since, for real. How you get into, uh, the next question is, how you get into promotion and hosting? All right, so bet, like, I've been trying to host parties and I've been trying to promote parties. When I'm in my city, you know what I'm saying, in Charlotte, I was, it's little promo groups and shit, and I would, like, host, like, not host, but I would be, like, a guest host that all you do is they get your picture on a flyer, and I had some followers, so they'd be like, guest host they put my picture on a flyer and then i just get in free like that what i was doing you feel me but it was cool but i'm like i want to like host my own party i want to promote like you know what i'm saying so when i got to college i joined the promo team boom joined one promo team i was with them for a little bit and i said i'm gonna just say their name because who cares i was with no red lights at a and if you know you know uh, we was promo, we was doing good, you feel me? We kind of, we brought no real lights to a and I'm going to just give y'all some game. Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just keep it real. My partner at Tennessee State hit my roommate up and was like, Listen, you and your boys, y'all lit. We trying to bring no red lights to a and He like, bet. So he tell me, I'm like, bet. And I already knew his partner. From before in high school, it was weird. It's crazy how the world work. I already knew him, like through Graham, and I had went to a little band camp with him back in the day. So we had already been locked in. So he like, yeah, y'all too, y'all get whoever else. You feel me? So we got, you know what I'm saying? We started telling other people, you know what I'm saying? And then no real lights came about, and then we start, you know what I'm saying? Giving our positions. People started, you know what I'm saying? It was cool. I was promoting with them, but then we stopped promoting with them. Then I went to my boy Shilly, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Q Q six, quarter six, the winning team, you hear me, no cap. So yeah, he, I basically, I was trying to host with no red lights, I was trying to be a host, like with the microphone, but I was just nervous as hell, so I'd be scared as shit, and I had a microphone, and I'd say two words, and I'd put it down, because I was just like, it's just, hosting is not, it's not easy, you feel me, but when, I don't know, it's like at quarter six parties, I felt, I don't know, like something just happened, like, to me, I was just like, bro, just do that shit, so I grabbed my, I started hosting, you feel me, and Sheila was like, bet, you Q6 host, so I'm like, bet, so I'm hosting every single party, and I'm, when I wasn't in school for that year and a half, I was still coming down there and hosting parties, like, I was fine down there and hosting parties, like, and it's crazy because my dad's a DJ, so I don't even know how I... Well, I know how I, you feel me, ease my way into that 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 life and that, that style, you know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy how it worked because I'm a drummer, so I ain't even think that I was going to end up doing that. But I've been a party. I ain't going to say a party animal. But I've been, like, fucking with the parties and shit since I was a young nigga. I was legit. So I kind of knew it was coming. I just, it was just a matter of fact when. So, yeah... I started hosting for real, and I started getting good. I started really, you know what I'm saying, doing it for real. Because with, with with the hosting and the parties, you can't halfway do it. It's either you do it or you don't. Because these folks will act funny, and they won't give you no chance, no cap. Like, they're, you feel me, they're a little boy, you quick. So you got to really stand on, you know what I'm saying, what you own. You got to really stand on that. So, yeah, I appreciate my boy Shilly, no cap, because he gave me the platform. I had to play, he gave me the platform. You hear me? So yeah. 
Next question. That how that how I got into the hosting and promoting. You know what I'm saying full time. Yeah. So next question is, what's the end goal? The end goal is to leave my mark on this earth. I I got a legacy. Like I'm trying to leave a a a a a dent on this earth. Like everybody, I want everybody to know me for something positive. Though I don't want to be no. I don't really want to be known for nothing else. Like, I want to be known for like my positivity and how I just show love and how you can do whatever. Like I got so much stuff planned. Like there's it's nothing that you can't do. Like I want to rap. I want to. You know what I'm saying? I want to do a whole bunch of stuff. You feel me? But who's to say you can't? You feel me? Who said you can't write a movie and drop an album? Like you know what I'm saying? You can do, I want to do everything, like, everything that I can do, I want to do. Like, I want to play drums for a famous person and vlog it at the same time. Like, you feel me? It's just like, I'm trying to do everything. Like, so, I want to be known, my end goal is just to be known for, and it's just hard. Like, show love, be positive. You know what I'm saying? You can be, you, you, you don't got to be a little, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to be. You don't gotta stick to one thing. You can do everything and be successful at it. So, yeah, that's it. Future plans. The next question is future plans for marketing. The name two player. I'm working on getting it. Trademark LSC. I got a clothing line coming. I've been planning. You know what I'm saying? I've been writing down ideas and you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of stuff planned for the name. Just know. It's up and it's stuck, Bunny. Bunny. Um, next question and the last question is this something you want to do as a career? Yes. I wanna be an influencer. I wanna do everything like I wanna do so much. And I just can't even name everything on top of my head because I'm pretty sure when I start doing other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Other shit gonna start coming. So I'm a I'm Yes, this is something I want to do as a career, but I'm, I'm tackling one thing as a time, at a time. So yeah, I want to host full time. I do want to be an influencer on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and stuff like that. I'm going to keep that going. But yeah, this is what I want to do as a career. I don't really want to work for anybody. I want to I wanna be the job. Like, I work for me. You hear me? Yeah. But... That's going to wrap up this little Q&A, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I got 300 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? We on the road to 300K. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm going to skip all the little baby steps, baby steps. I'm just, we, we, we on the road to 300K. I got 300 subscribers right now when I made the video. We on the road to 300K, man. I appreciate everybody for rocking with me. I appreciate everybody listening. If you made it to the end of the video. Um... If you made it to the end of the video, um, I had a brain fart. But if you didn't make it to the end of the video, you probably won't see this, but you stink and you smell like eggs. No cap. Yeah. Push your real feet around. Yeah. Push your feet. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. In the paddock in my piece, I'm pushing P. <laughs> Cop new hammers for my P. We don't want no peace. Got a spot across the spot, just for peace. Drop the data, now we plantin' exotic peas. She not a lesbian for peace, she turned pissed. I'm pushing P. I'm capital P. I'm